Afternoon. I've got a new pair of shoes, and being a photographer, everything new I get in life, I want to take photos of because... Because I can. Because it's fun. Because I like taking photos. That's kind of why I'm a photographer. But yeah, so we are going to take some photos of these shoes. I am going to do two parts to this photo shoot. First part we're going to do right here, I'm going to get the product studio thing out, and I've got an idea for a couple of shots that I want to try and get with this. Uh, next... Oh wait, no, there's three parts. There's three parts of this. So that's the first part. The second part is stereotypical shoe photo that I always see on Instagram and I've always wanted to recreate this photo and we're going to do it on the bed, you'll understand that in a minute uh, I'm going to use, in fact I'll just show you now, this photo inspired by Tyler Babin um, and I think Mike Chudley did a very similar one recently as well but yeah I've always wanted to recreate one of these photos for myself um, so I'm going to try it with the world map wall in the background See if that looks good. If not, we'll look for a plain wall because it, it might be a reason everyone does it with plain walls. But yeah, try and make it my own with the world map first. And then the third part of this photo shoot is we're going to go out and do some photos with them, like kind of in action sort of shots. No model, just me. We're going to do it completely on my own. Uh, I have a specific photo in mind I want to get, and that location where I want to get this, there's a couple of little bits around there which would be really good for getting your shots. So. Hopefully we've got time tonight. The sun is slowly setting. Might have to push this up to tomorrow because I have left this quite late in the day to do so. But let's just crack on and see what happens. So part one, we're gonna be using the photo studio. So we're gonna set this up and get going. So that is the pair of shoes we're gonna use. I just realized my idea might not work because what I wanted I thought there was a little, you know, there's a little, I don't know what, what you'd call that. It's really awkward because I haven't got a single pair of shoes with it. But I thought these had a little bit of fabric there, you know, the fabric hoops, which I could be able to tie string in and dangle them inside here. And we don't have that. So what I might do instead is prop this, something up underneath this, so it's like that and then get the shot, because I want it isolated on a white background. We're going to use Groot. I've just decided we're going to use Groot. This might be a massive, like, the idea behind this was it's going to be really easy to edit out, and it might be a massive pain in the ass to try and edit Groot out of this. But, we shall see. So this is what I'm currently looking at, and I'm really unsure if this is going to work. But we're going to get some photos and give it a go. Okay, so part one of this has turned out to be a lot more ridiculous than I expected. Um, I've literally had the box out for like two minutes, and I've got a couple of photos. In my head it looked different, but oh well, the, I was more excited for the other parts of this photo, the other two sections of this photo shoot, so we'll call it there, and we're going to try and get the next shot now. Yes. For context, I've got the app on my iPad to connect to. Okay. We got it. Okay, so the plan was for me to go out now and go get these photos that I have in mind, like out wearing the shoes, like in action sort of shots. Uh, but the sun has set a lot more than I expected to at this point. Uh, and looking at my weather app, the sun is meant to actually completely set in half an hour. We are instead either going to do this tomorrow. Morning. It's early. It's about quarter to seven. I never usually walk the dog this early. There's the dog. Uh, but we are out here this morning to get walk the dog early, and then we're going to go get the photos that I wanted to get yesterday uh, because we're meant to have rain this morning. It looks nice right now, but it is England, so the rain could come over at any point. So um, yeah, we're going to go get the photos early in case it does rain this evening and we don't get a chance to do it. Hey, 
What are you doing? You get out there? Oh, oh, oh. I actually came to this location the other morning with the 50 mil. Uh, after I'd, obviously after I'd got it. Uh, but yeah, I'll show the photos up on screen now because I'm really happy with the photos that came out. It was a proper, like, misty, like we couldn't see down there. It was a proper misty morning. The sun was coming through. I was up here a bit later, so the sun was higher. Just, oh, lovely photos. So yeah, check them on the screen now. Or follow your boy on Instagram to check them out on there. At, uh, 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 at Luke Barnes. Okay, so I'm at the location. It's on like a main road sort of thing. Um, and then we're gonna have to, I've got my skateboard so I'm because I'm too lazy to walk. We're gonna skate down there, set the camera up at the side of the road, um, and then get the shot of me running in the road. Hopefully this comes out how I'm hoping. <laughs> road is actually a lot busier than I expected it to be, which is annoying. Don't need, don't need that one. But we're going to work with it. We'll see if we can get the shot. Okay, so we're now down the road from where I just was. We're now going to try this second set of shots in this football, basketball court. I'm not hopeful about the last set, to be honest. Uh, I feel like they could have come out better. I was expecting them to come out better, but... It was my first set of photos for the day, and as I always say, you need to warm up. But we're gonna try and work with this location. The puddle bears, we might get some puddle shots, but we'll give it a go, see what happens. Okay, so I was gonna film myself getting those shots, and then a guy came in to play basketball, and it was just too awkward for me to film. So, talk you through when I get home. I think they came all right. I don't know if they did or not. I'm not particularly hopeful, but I never ran with these photos, am I? But yeah, I'll see you back in the room and we'll have a look. Afternoon. So, back, edited all the photos. They did come out better than I expected them to, I have to say. I was not particularly hopeful with them. Um, but, some of them are ridiculous. So let's just jump straight in. Let's just jump straight in. So, the first two, I took two shots with Groot in the photo studio. This is the first one. And this is the second one. And they're not actually as bad as I expected them to be. So I actually really like the second one. It's kind of cool. It's just really random and weird, but it came out a lot better than I expected it to be. But moving on to the next, the second shot, which is one I was actually kind of excited to do, was the feet in the air one, which also came out quite well. As you can tell, I did a lot of editing to it for as in the colour wise and the things you can tell from the background behind me now, because it's the same wall. You can see I have done a bit of colour editing in this. Um, I just wanted to make it a bit moodier, grunger, crushed to blacks, but I actually quite like it, I have to say. It came out quite cool. The next three shots are just random ones I took of the shoes in my room, just sat on the box. I, the last one's my favourite, this one is my favourite, that's really cool. And then, moving on to the uh, actual running one, the shot I was set out to get. So, what I had in mind with this shot was, it was I knew this road kind of bendy and turny, and I wanted to set up on a corner, as you can see, kind of capture the, the road coming from the side and then off into the distance. And I wanted to sell an 85mm and I wanted to be running, I was dressed in my running gear, running with the shoes because they are running shoes. That was the kind of logic behind it, I wanted them in action running. And it's just kind of stupid. This is the first one where I was just testing it, I was testing the where I was, and it's like, that one's actually quite cool, I quite like that one. This one was me pretending to run, and you can tell I'm pretending to run, and it looks ridiculous. And I look miserable. It's, yeah. That's just awful. So for the next few shots, I then put it on um, time-lapse mode, interval timer. So it was taking one photo every two seconds. Or every one second, I think it was. Duh. But it was taking a photo every couple of seconds. So I then ran off, ran down the side, and I came back around and ran up. All the ones running away from the camera were out of focus. Don't know why, it was on manual, it was on a continual, continuous autofocus, but it just didn't pick me up. It was focused right in the distance. And then it managed to grab focus as I was running back, but it actually got a better photo of this cyclist than it did of me. So, don't know how I feel about that. But then yeah, there's me coming back, floating, because it caught me mid-air. 
again looking miserable. Next one, me actually running, and I just look weird. I don't know why I'm giving the thumbs up to the camera. That's pretty much the shot I had in mind, is this shot. This is the one I wanted to get. It didn't come out particularly great. And then afterwards, we then went to the basketball court, and I'm actually quite happy with the shots I got it. Full disclaimer, this is my first photo shoot of shoes. I've taken, like, candid street photos of people, like, when they're sat on things and their shoes dangling down and stuff like that. But I've never done product photos of shoes or trains or anything. So... They're not going to be amazing, but I'm quite happy with them. So this is the first one, which I think is really cool. As you can tell, I pulled out most of the colour. got a bit of green in the background for a bit of popping. But, yeah, happy with that shot. Prefer this shot, but just slightly different angle. I think that one's really cool. I love the texture on the floor. You can really tell from the depth of field because the second shoe is actually starting to get out of focus. I just really like that one. Next one, I use this line, red line as a bit of a leading line, which is pretty cool as well. But I prefer this one which is the landscape shot of it. I just think that one looks a lot cooler and I'm really happy with how that one's come out. And I just tried to do something by holding the shoe out in front of me. So I've got this shot and this shot, this second one being my favorite of the two. Um, yeah, looks all right. It's pretty cool, I guess. I then chucked on the floor and used the ring in the middle of the basketball court to get this shot. Yeah, basketball court to get this shot, which is quite cool. Then I've got this one as well, and then finally, this one. So yeah, I'm quite happy with how them ones have come out. They are actually kind of a lot better than I expected to, and when I walked away from the basketball court, I didn't think they were going to come out that well, and they've come out pretty decent. The next shot, I had the idea when we were there, always wanted to try and do one of these shots, and never done it before. Gave it a crack, the puddle wasn't the best for it, but I'm pretty happy with it. And it's this shot. So yeah, as you can probably tell, I photoshopped, I stood there with the shoes on, so you got my reflection, I then took the shoes off and kept them perfectly in place, which is a lot harder to do than it sounds. And then ran away, and then took the photo of just the shoes, and then in Photoshop afterwards, I masked or I raised out one of the photos to create the reflection in the puddle, but no one's standing there. It's a, it's a cool concept, it could have been executed a lot better, but the puddle I was working with was pretty naff. But, I'm pretty happy with it. I think that's actually a really cool shot. So, all in all, the, I thought these photos were going to be massive flops and they actually came out quite well, so I'm quite happy. Uh, that does seem to be a bit of a theme with my photos taken during these photo vlogs, but oh well. Happy with them. So yeah. So that is it for... Actually, no, that's not it. So, these pair of shoes, even though I didn't do the best job cleaning them because it's still a bit dirty, I got them just before I went travelling. And so they went travelling with me and they've been to other countries since then. So they, those shoes have been to Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Bali, Australia, New Zealand, Spain, Italy, Germany, England, and yeah. So they've been all over the place, and I don't usually do this with my pairs of shoes, but I've decided for these ones, I'm going to write on the soles, well, around the... I'm going to write around here on each shoe where they've been as a little memento, and then I'm going to chuck them in the cupboard. And because I'm a weird hoarder, but those shoes have been everywhere with me and it just feels like a kind of a nice thing to do. I'm, you might be watching this thinking you are an absolute nutcase. I wouldn't blame you. Boom. Finished results. You know when something is in your head and you feel like it's going to look a lot cooler? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, this, yeah, this is all just memento to mark where the, because these shoes have been all over the gaff. It's just kind of marking that, where they've been and yeah. Die. I'm a weirdo. Anyway, that is all for this video. If you enjoyed it, please drop a thumbs up down below. It does massively help out. Subscribe to see more of the content, all the other stuff that YouTube has told you to do. Have a hat. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to take the shot. Peace.